Hi guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. So this one, as you can tell from the title, is going to be how um, to like take care of a nose piercing and clean it and everything and keep it from being infected. Um, so yeah, today is currently Monday, August 2nd, and I just got my nose pierced on Friday and I thought that I would share like what I know with you guys and like pain management and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, first of all, let me give you a little backstory to the nose piercing. I have wanted my nose pierced since I was a little kid. I used to get those like little sticker gem things and put them on my nose and pretend my nose was pierced. Um, just because I've always wanted it pierced. And finally, my mom was like, fine, whatever, um, and gave in. So I got it pierced on Friday and I got a little hoop and I think it looks so good. It kind of makes me feel like a badass, I won't lie. Um, I feel pretty cool. So if you haven't seen... Um, like my other videos then you wouldn't know that I've actually broken my nose five times um so I'm really good with nose pain so for pain wise when it first happened it actually like really hurt like as it was being pierced um because like they literally shove a needle through your nose um so it did not feel good it definitely hurt really bad um and it was like a sharp pain and it hurt like for a while after it was like just done and I couldn't really move my nose for the rest of the day um, and also, I don't like seeing my own blood, like, I can see anybody else's blood, like, however much, like, the amount doesn't bother me with somebody else's blood, but, like, when it's my blood, I, like, get a little, like, woozy, and I hadn't really eaten too much that day either, um, I just had toast that morning before, so, I almost passed out after I got it done, just because I was bleeding a lot, um, but I think I was also bleeding that much because my nose is so messed up because i've literally broken it like i said five times if you want to know how i broke my nose five times click up here i think and i'll have the video up there for how i did that because yeah so now it really doesn't hurt that much unless i'm like messing with it a lot like i was trying to blow my nose earlier and so it kind of hurts right now because i was like messing with it and it's just kind of like a little like bruise around like right where it was pierced but honestly it really doesn't hurt that bad and, like i can do whatever i can like scrunch my nose now and everything and like it's completely fine so that's really good so yeah very surprisingly it like did not hurt that bad yeah, I was kind of shocked like it hurt really bad when it happened but like now I'm like like I literally forgot I had it pierced the other day and I like went to itch my nose and I itched my nose very aggressively and so I like punched myself in the face I was like ow that really hurts and it started bleeding a little bit but like it I don't even like feel it normally unless I'm like messing with it so yeah also it's fun to move around because it just like feels cool anyway <laughs> yeah so I'm going to show you guys how I clean it so I clean it in the morning and at night um Basically, my instructions were to do these things um, two to three times a day. So I just do them twice a day just because I feel like that's what works best. So I do it like in the morning when I wake up or like before I go to work and then before I go to bed at night. Um, and you do that until it's like healed, which I don't really know. They said it can take like um, six months to a year to heal. I don't know if that's how long I have to do this every day. I probably won't be doing that, but um, I'll just be doing it for at least quite some time. So, before we jump into how I actually clean it, I'm going to talk about, like, pain management and stuff like that. So, um, what I did was I took Advil, like, right after. Um, obviously, you can't take Advil before because of, like, the blood and everything. So, like, you don't want to, like, bleed too much if you take, like, the Advil, you know. But, like I was saying, I did take Advil, um, right after when I had gotten in the car and I just, like, laid down for a while. And then when I got home, I laid down before I had to go to work. Um, wearing a mask didn't really bother it. Um actually the tighter the mask is like the better it fits the less it bothers it is what i found because then it's not like moving around like rubbing up against it it's just kind of like there and um like the one that i have it doesn't like even touch it at all so um i will give you guys some tips from a website that i saw actually because i looked up like pain management stuff for um a nose piercing and i will read that stuff to you i haven't actually had to use any of it because i haven't been in pain but i'm going to read it to you guys just in case you need it okay so on the website that i have it's just like a home remedies type thing and um it gives like kind of some pain scales and stuff but it's obviously different for everyone so the first tip that they give is to apply tea tree oil to it because i guess that like helps the pain go away um so it helps dehydrate it 
and it speeds up the healing process and also prevents infections. Um, so, yeah. Um, the second one is apply a sea salt solution, which is actually one of the things you do to clean it, um, which I will be showing you guys that in a little bit. They also say um, a hot compress, so like, you know, get like a hot like soak a towel in like hot water and just put it over your nose um and like apply a little bit of pressure there for like a little bit and it'll help the pain go away this also says use apple cider vinegar um so it says mix raw apple cider vinegar with water in equal amounts with the help of cotton apply the solution in and around the pierced area um this also says apply aloe vera but um when i got my nose pierced she said like not to put like lotions or anything like that around or like gels or anything. So I don't know if you should do that. Um, I guess it just depends on what your piercers say. Mine told me not to do that. Um, but yeah. So now that we've talked about the pain scale, pain management and stuff like that, I'm actually going to finally show you how to clean it and take care of it. Okay, so they gave me a pamphlet on like how to like take care of it so I'm going to like read these things to you like to tell you exactly what you do so the first thing that it has on here is the sea salt soaks so they actually give you this um, little non iodized sea salt and you take you take a little disposable cup so we got Dixie cups um, and you fill it with one cup of warm water and add a fourth of a teaspoon of this salt and you stir it until um, it's completely dissolved. So I just take this little fourth teaspoon thing, dip it in here, and then put it in my cup of warm water and stir it until obviously it's dissolved. Um, and then I just literally hold the cup to my nose or hold my nose to the cup for three to five minutes. I always do five just cause, um, but this says you can do three to five. I just do five to be on the safe side. It also helps my nose feel better because like the warm water feels nice. I don't know. So then the second thing that it says is to take clear glycerin soap, which is another thing that they gave me, and um, you can do this, you also do this twice a day, and you do this um, either in the shower or not in the shower. Um, I take showers at night, so when I um, do my nighttime stuff, I use this in the shower, and when you use it in the shower, you just kind of... Um, like scrub your hands and then you just kind of scrub around the area don't put it like directly in the piercing um but you like want to scrub around it and like make sure it's like clean and stuff and this stuff also helps the like scabs come off and everything um and the like steam from your shower and stuff helps it um but in the morning i just get a little q-tip wet and put some soap on the q-tip and just kind of like rub around it and then stick my face under the water and just like let it wash off and i always do the soak before the soap so yeah, um, and so like whenever I do it at night, I do the soak and then take a shower and then do this in the shower, just because that's the way that I prefer to do it. So, now I'm going to show you guys me actually doing it, because I waited to clean my nose this morning for that, and then I'm also going to show you tonight as well. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below um, because I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday and hopefully I'll be able to give you a little more like nose piercing content stuff if you guys like that. Um, 
so yeah also comment down below because i respond to every single comment um and i love like responding to your comments and seeing you guys comment and like engage with my video it just makes me like super happy and i love like knowing when you guys like the videos and stuff so definitely be sure to comment below and i will see you guys in my next video bye